Welcome to the Art Ladies Home. Today I'm going to review the Samsung Four Door Flex Refrigerator. And this is a refrigerator that I purchased eight months ago. And I'm going to give it an absolute top 10 positive review. So I'm going to jump right to it and tell you that. Now, the rest of the video is going to tell you why I love it so much. First of all, when I went to purchase this, I didn't realize that Samsung gives discounts for military and teachers. And they may give some other discounts too, so go ahead and check their website. I did purchase it directly from Samsung, and it was delivered to my house in like four days, which was crazy. I couldn't believe how fast it was. And I believe I got free delivery. But I also got, not only on top of the sale, but I also got the special that they were running, which is another set of these glass panels. This refrigerator, if you look on their website, it comes in all different kinds of beautiful colors, depending on where you live in the country or the world. I know in Europe they have some other color choices than what we have here in the US. But this was one of the ones I was interested in because um, I needed a color that matched those built-ins to the right. Years ago, I think it was 10, 12 years ago when I redid the kitchen, I just used some of my older appliances that I had and I put it in this appliance wall here and I used the old refrigerator, which happened to be black. And then I had a, the stove already, and then I purchased the built-in microwave. But since then, I've actually had to replace that microwave. And now I wanted to update my refrigerator. And so I was looking at these uh, Samsung bespoke refrigerators, and my past refrigerator was an LG refrigerator with that popular large drawer at the bottom. And that's what I absolutely hated. The drawer actually literally fell apart. So when I saw the four door here at the bottom, I was blown away. I fell in love with it instantly. And now that I've had it for eight months, I still really, really love it. So I'm making this review to show you exactly what this refrigerator is all about. And I wanna also mention that, please make sure that if you decide to purchase this, that you measure the refrigerator and measure the space and spot. When the delivery man came to my house, he said, wow, everything fits. Uh, uh, and, and I said, yeah, because uh, I looked on the website and I made sure because it said it on the delivery papers. I literally had to cut off. I had a TV cabinet that was above my old refrigerator. So we did have to change up the cabinet on the top there. And I literally did it myself. So it's kind of a patch job. But I had to demolish the top cabinet and then just build this little tiny box because the refrigerator is a little bit taller than my LG. And when the repair or when the delivery man came, he said that he has to actually bring back a lot of the refrigerators because they just don't fit. So if you do decide to purchase it, make sure it fits your space. So once we had it all fit and put in, then I was able to really enjoy this refrigerator. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of why I really love it. This is the number one reason why I bought this fridge is because it has these two huge sections at the bottom of the fridge. To the left is a freezer section. To the right is the flex section, which you can set at all different kinds of temperatures. And it's easy to set. There's just a digital panel on the top. This one I use as a freezer, and that's what I intended to use it when I purchased it. And that's why I purchased it, because I wanted a large section for my freezer that had simple drawers and cubbies and things for me to store and easily access. On the doors, there's huge storage because these doors are pretty wide here, if you notice. So on one side, I have all the vegetables and fruit. So it's real organized for me. I can just, and I, I can see, and I can grab things quickly to prepare dinner. I don't have to go digging through everything. There's also two large basin drawers at the bottom that store things. I use the the one on the left to store veggies, and then on the right I store small meat products or you know pre-made pre frozen dinners or whatnot that I have, maybe leftovers and things like that. Once I got this refrigerator, I realized how huge it was and how huge these storage facilities are at the bottom. I could actually store in the back of my meat, and I've even done it in the back of this vegetable section behind the fruits and vegetables, a huge turkey, frozen turkey. Here's a close-up of the meat section so you can see. Here in the back, you can see that's an eight pound bag of chicken. And then I still have storage in the front. 
And you can see how steaks and things are, are stored next to that chicken. So you can just stack them right up like that. And then you still have room in the front section, which is really great. And then of course you have these drawers here. There's the storage inside the drawers. And in that back, you can see that's a bag of shrimp. So that's how big it is there. So you can fit bags of shrimp, bags of whatever in the back, and then you still have room for trays of meat. So pretty big storage. And I like it because everything's easily accessed. On the sides here, this is a lot of like frozen fish and things that my son catches, but quite a big deep storage area. Here's the comparison when I move the package of chicken over here. So you can see how you can put the whole pack of chicken right in the door if you needed to. I just use this section, what my son does for his fish when he catches fish. He cleans them and then puts them here so it's easy for him to find. And here is the left side of the refrigerator. This refrigerator makes two different kinds of ice. It has a larger cube and then it has some small cubes. Here's the different ice. I'll pick up a cube so you can see in comparison. This is a little bit smaller than an ice cube tray cube. And then here is the small cubes. This one didn't quite break in half yet. So, a little bit bigger than your thumbnail, just to compare size. It comes with this cute little ice scoop here. And then these are just the slides, slides in and out. Now, somebody mentioned that sometimes the ice falls out in the back there. Okay, every once in a while I see that that could possibly happen. But that's only if you slide out this and are rough with it, or when you're scooping out this, you're pushing the ice and it flips over out in the back, and then of course it falls into the back of the refrigerator. But in the eight months, I've had to clean this out one time. And I do have a teenager, so he probably did that. But if you're careful, you know, when you get your ice, you just pull it out a little bit, slide this back. Scoop up my ice. I always bring the ice forward and then scoop it out. If you're pushing this way, obviously the ice is going to fall out the tray in the back. I'll show you what these trays actually look like. The ice trays just come right out individually. My son uses it for his thermos bottles. He has these large bottles. It's like a half a gallon and he just dumps it in these thermos bottles. But you can see there's one little ice cube left in the tray there. That just got flipped over from picking it up and moving it around. Here's that big storage area that's underneath the ice maker. So let's look and see what we have in here. We have a half gallon of ice cream in the back to the right and then another one in the front. And then I have a container that has some leftover lasagna in it in front of that. Here's a comparison. You see this is the uh, like a large French bread stick. You can see it takes up the whole length there. This would hold, and here I've also had the frozen pizzas. So a DiGiorno frozen pizza can easily fit in this section here. A lot of people want to know about frozen pizzas. And then of course in the front I've got a giant bag of this hash browns. 30 ounce bag of hash browns. So you can kind of see for size here. And then he's, here's those freezer pops. You can kind of see from comparison for size there. So there's plenty of room in that section. Then you've got the drawer below, which is a pretty huge section. It's the same as this, but you can just stack things in it here. And so I basically stack my frozen vegetables and I, th I have some waffles here that I made the other day. bags of vegetables. So that holds a lot of bags of vegetables in there. So that's the bottom freezer section. And this is why I purchased this refrigerator because I can easily access everything that I need. I can see everything and easily access it. Here is the inside capacity. 
and the depth of the shelves is about 18 and a half inches. So if we look in a little bit closer, and I have it arranged where it's a little bit shorter at the top. When you open the fridge, you just reach in here and you can pull each side open like this. And the shelves hold about three bottles deep and two cans deep here. These, these doors are really wide because you've got the width of the door. I think this is about four inches. And then you've got the width coming in here too. So these shelves are really sturdy and they have a lot of storage capacity. My other fridge wasn't, I wasn't able to get a lot of stuff on this, on these doors. So that's a bonus. On the other door, you have large capacity as well. And in most cases I can fit two to three condiments and sauces and jars and whatnot. On the inside, let's look at the container for the French bread or the bread. It does a whole length of bread. This is about 18 and a half inches from here to the back. And then my eggs, I can put a whole thing of eggs in. And then you've got a lot of other storage at the top. I have it set so it's really wide storage or tall storage in the middle. It's a real deep, deep fridge. You can see back here, some this is the narrow shelf where I can have stuff way back and then do even do yogurts and things in the front. So the, it's a huge storage capacity. Let's look at the middle section here. Like I said, it's about 18 and a half inches wide or the depth of it. So it can fit two really large bowls and these are the largest mixing bowls you can buy and then the one on top is a medium mixing bowl so the depth of two large mixing bowls which is great for stacking up leftovers and whatnot i just cooked a turkey um was it yesterday so i did a turkey dinner and all my leftovers are in here so you can see how the leftovers of turkey dinner it basically has tons of room to open up the beverage center, you go to the middle of the left side. There's a little latch here, you just push in, push it like this. The door opens and voila, you have access to your beverages. One of the best features that I've really grown to love about this fridge is this thing. I didn't even know they had it until after I bought it. This is your beverage server. It's got your water ready to go. This is really, really convenient. And if you want a glass of water, you can just fill it this way and water can come out here or you have it pre-filled for you so you don't have to stand and wait. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So you can serve this to yourself as just fresh plain water or if you want, you can just open this up. Here's the diffuser, you take the top off and you can put in your sliced lemons, limes, oranges, whatever you want. In here, cucumbers to have flavored water. You can even put tea bags in if you want instant tea. So that's another feature that you can do. They also sell these beverage servers separately. So if you want to have one going and then one in the fridge, which you can, and I believe at the time that I made this video, it was about $100 for this plastic container that fits your fridge, which is an option because then you can alternate from fresh water. I first started using some lemons and the oranges in it, but then I like to use this for my coffee. So in the morning, I just grab this, fill up the coffee pot, or I have a K-cup machine, so I just add more to the K-cup machine directly to from this. So then I have filtered water in my K-cup machine. And that was a bonus. I didn't think about that before I even bought this fridge. So that this feature, this little feature and this little beverage server is one of the reasons why I really love this fridge. It's very unique, but this is very convenient. You'd be surprised at how much this little feature does and adds to your life. Thank you for watching the review. I hope this was helpful in your discovery and your decision on purchasing this flex refrigerator. 
Uh, like I said, this is one of my favorite purchases that I've made. If you like this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much.